In this video, we are going to focus on what the best graphics cards are to pair with the Ryzen 5 3600 to get the most performance out of your Ryzen 3000 build and ensure there is no sort of bottlenecking from the graphics card or the other way around. This is an exciting time to build a PC, so hopefully, this guide, should you want to be building with the Ryzen 5 3600, helps you build the most powerful and capable Ryzen 5 3600 PC. These GPUs are listed in no particular order, so number 1 is not the best, and 5 is not the worst. However, I will mention the GPU that I believe is the best of the 5 at the end of the video. To get more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description box below for more information, and don't forget to subscribe to Gaming Gadgets Geek's YouTube channel. So without wasting any time let's start. Starting our list with Asus ROG Strix AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT Overclocked. Asus ROG Strix AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT is a quality GPU that can tick off any of its competitors within a second. The GPU's average performance stands at an all-time high, hence, making it the best versatile GPU on the list. Not to mention, with this GPU, you can go up to 2035 MHz. This means that the generated FPS in games will be marginally increased. It's worth mentioning that the GPU makes use of Axial Tech Fan technology that helps in creating a sound environment for air travel. In and out. On top of that, the fans produce no noise, which means that they will only kick on an aggressive fan curve if the temperature surpasses the safe threshold. In addition to that, the GPU makes use of Super Alloy 2 power, which includes premium alloy chokes, solid polymer capacitors, and a series of high current power stages for regulation. It also has a dedicated Aura Sync module, which helps in cinching all the RGB lights with the existing Asus products in your gaming system. Last but not least, the GPU has all the tweakable options like thermal control and system monitoring. With this, you can have 24-7 surveillance on your GPU performance. So why should you buy it? It offers extreme gaming performance. The card is laden with advanced options for seamless gaming. Makes use of a sturdy build. At number 2 it's Asus Tough Gaming 3 AMD Radeon RX 5600 XTOC. It's of no surprise to see Asus appearing consecutively for the second time in the list. To be honest, for AMD Ryzen 5 3600, Asus GPUs have always been highly compatible. Anyways, the GPU comes with its overclocking profiles, which you can switch in between for perceiving variable gaming performance. Not to mention, it also offers an axial tech design for propelling air at a decent rate. On top of that, you get hold of tough compatibility testing that ensures that the card will be perfectly running in parallel with your CPU. Other than that, the GPU can sustain considerably large temperatures due to its resounding sturdy build. Indeed, appreciative, in my opinion. In addition to that, the GPU has punctuated heatsinks that reduce the soaring temperatures by many folds. Last but not least, the GPU can run games on high settings without budging in. Simply crank up the in-game GPU settings, and bingo, it's done. If you think that there's something off the chart, simply report it back to Asus Tough, and within a few working days, you'll either have a full unrefund or an exchange with either the same or different GPU. Why should you buy it? Asus Tough Gaming 3 AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT is just a shy of one rank order. Its performance remains in parallel with RX 5700 XT, thus, making it another worthwhile GPU. The card has varying overclocking profiles. Same performance as RX 5700 XT, and durable. At number 3, it's MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2066 GB. The new lineage for the NVIDIA series has caused much havoc in the market. It's due to the new incepted module of ray tracing. Well, ray tracing is known for rendering particles through the yellow light, which makes the overall picture quality realistic and absorbing. For the specification, the GPU offers a boost clock of 1830 MHz and a memory speed of 15 GB per second. Not to mention, you also get hold of a 6 GB VRAM, which is enough to sustain gaming at ultra settings. Imagine running the latest titles on ultra settings and RTX enabled. What a sight! It's worth mentioning that the GPU makes use of the Torx Fan 3.0 version, which dissipates heat at a larger working rate. The fans are also subject to perfect aerodynamics, which means the overall noise levels will be significantly kept at bay. For the RGB and lights, the RTX 2060 brings in aesthetically pleasing dancing lights, which you can sync with other MSI components. 
All in all, it's a magnificent GPU. Why should you buy it? Offers the best RTX modeling. The card can render realistically, and you can game at 4K settings. At number 4 it's MSI Gaming GeForce GTX 1660. I can't help it. MSI variants are just brilliant and robust. To be honest, I would stake my entire property if someone accuses MSI of being exceptionally dull. As far as the MSI Gaming GeForce GTX 1660 is concerned, it's another marvelous entity on the list. The GPU is subject to high quality performance and perfect for the gaming and rendering niche. The GPU boost clock goes up to 1860 MHz with a memory speed of 8 GB per second, enough to calculate complex equations. It's worth mentioning that the GPU entails top-notch quality fans, which dissipate heat at a sufficiently larger rate. With this, your GPU's temperatures remain below the given threshold. On top of that, the fans do not produce much noise, which means that you have a soundless gaming experience, even if they kick off at 100%. That's just commendable, right? Other than this, you can turn on the Dragon Center, proprietary software of MSI, to turn on the RGB lights. You can change between different light patterns and modules with just a single click. In conclusion, if you are looking forward to buying something exceptional, yet at an affordable rate, this is the card you should be rooting for. Why should you buy it? Have overclocking profiles. Performance at its peak, and have dynamic modules that help in retaining the overall quality of the GPU. At number 5 it's XFX Radeon RX 580 GTS. It is the best budget-friendly card to pair with Ryzen 5 3600. Don't worry. I always keep in mind that the video should tend to a large cohort. That's the reason why I ensure to pitch in budget-friendly products every now and then. For this video, it's RX 580 GTS. I would say, buy it. Ignore every other product and buy this one since it's such an amazing entity. You won't believe me that it curtails every advanced feature and is enough to run even for a couple of years ahead. The RX 580 is completely suitable for 1080p gaming. For the specifications, the card offers AMD FreeSync 2, DisplayPort 1.4 support, OpenGL, OpenCL, and a surfeit of other features. It's worth adding that the 8GB variant is enough to run the majority of the AAA titles smoothly. On top of that, you can set up different fan curves, overclock your GPU, and play games on VR. That's just wonderful. Last but not least, you can also establish FreeSync 2.0 version with your monitor for enhanced picture quality. Why should you buy it? The GPU offers everything at a subsidized cost. The GPU has overclocking profiles and much more. I hope the video was viable and accessible from every aspect. Well, I tried my level best to propose only those products that have decent accountability for their actions. Not to mention, the above list is not finite, which means you can still buy any GPU, as long as its presence satiates the craving for having something enormously functional. If you ask for my recommendation, I would say a SUS ROG Strix AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT overclocked is worth a shot. AMD GPUs have always been my favorite, and 5700 XT is no different. If you think there was something amiss with the video, then do let me know in the comments.